Hey everybody, welcome to Snohomish, Washington. A hey, Booch, nice to have you here. Jenny, welcome. We're at Glacier Peak High School. Let's go ahead and just kind of zoom in on some of the nice clouds. Very few clouds, but the ones we do have are, are nice. And if I just come right over here, you can see Mount Baker out there in the distance. I think you can make it out. Hey, Dayron. Wonderful to see you. I'm just going handheld here. Hey, Deb. I'm out on a walk with my one of my sons. And not much battery power left, but I just wanted to share. I wanted to share something with you. Let me just flip the camera around. Yeah, mask and all. So I just wanted to share with you that um, a video project that I know I've mentioned here a few times over the past few months is now done. And it's one where I used everybody else's footage. It wasn't mine. And um, it's a nature story. And it's from Canada. And it turned out, I think, pretty darn well. And I want to know, well, want to let you know where you can find it. It's on both my YouTube channel and my Facebook page. Um, the name of the video, yes, Jenny says, awesome. Thank you, Jenny. The name of the video is pretty, pretty simple. It's three words, fascinating nature journey, fascinating nature journey. Hey, Lenore. The name of the video that I finally finished is Fascinating Nature Journey. You can, it's the most recent thing posted on both my Facebook page and on YouTube. The Facebook page is Mark Horner Media, M-A-R-K, Horner, H-O-R-N-E-R, -E Media. And so it's Mark Horner Media. So go facebook.com forward slash Mark Horner Media. You're there and you'll find the video. And then you can go to YouTube if you like at youtube.com forward slash beyond 90 seconds and it's the most recent upload so um, please check it out it is nearly 13 minutes long Maureen wonderful I hope you do check it out Maureen um, really I have, I have great deep gratitude for the all those who trusted me with their footage I'm already hearing back from them people I don't know but for having reached out to them on social media and they allowed me to use their footage their pictures and piece together um, a story, as I figured out on my own, because I was uninitiated with the topic, I learned why all those waters were churning and stirring for about two to three weeks just off the beach from Neck Point Park in Nanaimo, Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. So once again, the name of it is Fascinating Nature Journey. It's on Facebook and YouTube, facebook.com forward slash Mark Horner Media, Mark corner media youtube.com forward slash beyond 90 seconds one more time for Bo's mom and oh you watched it thank you so much I'm glad you enjoyed it I really appreciate that Bo's mom I was just announcing here real quick uh, not so quick perhaps <laughs> that um, uh, Tracy thank you for for already watching it I think you yeah I think I saw that I've been out for a walk for about an hour and a half now <laughs> not walking right now but Bo's mom, um, I just finished up this video that I've been working on, piecing together in bits and pieces since April, when time allows. And it's called um, Fascinating Nature Journey. <laughs> Tracy. Um, if I use both hands, I'm going to drop the phone because I'm going handheld tonight. Um, Facebook.com forward slash Mark Horner Media. YouTube.com beyond 90 seconds. I'm going to do a pan up as not to have show my son because I promised. <laughs> he says, thank you. Um, actually, the camera's on me anyway, son. So let's just Cascade Mountains. Uh, zoom in on Mount Baker. Way out there across the valley. Dayron, if you're still watching, I don't know that you are, but those flashing lights below, we saw them from Springetti Road. That's where I believe the power generator station is. Was it Bonneville Road or something like that in Snohomish? Parallel to Avenue D. So when we're on Spring Giddy Road on the south end, we see those lights. It makes sense because you have small aircraft landing at nearby Harvey Field. And you know what? We could actually see at one point what I believe is Glacier Peak. Deb or Ray will connect me, but you see the peak in the center there? Just behind it on the left is another smoke snow cap peak. Kind of hard to make out on the iPhone, but it, it was all lit up. Just that one peak back there. And then we'll just kind of zoom in here. I was here with my son last night and the lights came on. It was wonderful. Over the 4th of July weekend, uh, 
two days before, at least two days after, everything was shut down here. Hey, Tom from Whidbey Island. <laughs> Bo's mom says, hi, Tom and Mark. Real quick to you, Tom. Um, I finished the video that I um, have been working on since April. It uh, is called Fascinating Nature Journey. Fascinating Nature Journey. You can watch it on YouTube and Facebook. Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Mark Horner Media. Facebook.com Mark Horner Media. And YouTube is youtube.com forward slash beyond 90 seconds. I hope you all get a chance to check it out. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your feedback. And a uh, shout out to Janine, real estate Nanaimo, who oftentimes joins us. I, I don't have the time right now. I got to imagine it's right around um, just past nine o'clock. You're looking forward to watching it tonight. Thank you, Bo's mom. Thank you, Tom. And somebody will chime in with the exact time. I'm looking towards Whidbey Island when I come over here, Tom, and low on the horizon, kind of hard to make out here, but I think it's red sky. If you were to pop outside, you're welcome, Maureen. Thank you for your interest, Maureen, as always, as we look through the tennis courts. And the Snohomish Valley down below. We've been watching skydivers as well. 9.05. Thank you, Bo's mom. Now let's kind of pan right here toward Lord Hill. There's Lord Hill. Open-minded to all. Nice to uh, have you here. First day on Periscope. Travis, welcome. And Tom is in Oak Harbor without a view. Oh, no, Tom, I'm sorry to hear that. My brother was just telling me, one of my brothers, he just did a drive down the, um, from Oak Harbor down the east side of Whidbey and how beautiful it was. Uh, Travis, I just I want to make sure you're aware of it too, my friend. Um, this will be my last pl time plugging, and I'm going to have to wrap up. But um, one of the reasons I came on tonight was just to follow up, because I know I'd mentioned it on previous scopes. The video I've been working on since April is now available on YouTube and um, Facebook. It's a nature video. It's called Fascinating Nature Journey. Facebook.com forward slash Mark Horner Media. Facebook.com forward slash Mark Horner Media. And on YouTube... Same username is here on Twitter and Periscope. Um, YouTube.com forward slash beyond 90 seconds. All right. Thank you for many of you listening to me repeat that. I think I'm justified in this case because a lot of work went into that one <laughs> over time. And uh, whether it gets a lot of views or not, that's not the point. I want to share the story. There's education there. I learned um, it'll be old news, probably familiar news to those of you who follow the topic closely. And let it be a stepping stone if you have an interest in the topic through this video. There are links that I provided below, beneath the video, both on YouTube and Facebook. Numerous links that I explored as I learned about the topic. And if you like nature, and I think we do, if you like wildlife, and I think we do, um, you'll likely maybe want to click on one or two of those links. If you, um, I don't want to give too much away, but in one of the links, there's surf scoter eating a clam. <laughs> Check that out. And then after watching my video, you'll appreciate their change of behavior comes springtime. Let's put it that way. All right, my friends. Take care, everybody. Thanks for checking out this broadcast. Have a great evening or day wherever you might be. If you watched the, the replay. Hey, how do we even know if the audio is out of sync? I've got a mask on. Ah, it works in my favor. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody.